Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how to use the import function in the audit process. So it's quite common to potentially scan and audit items on site, maybe on a spreadsheet or potentially your clients provided a spreadsheet with a lot of the data points that you need to import. So it uh, may not make sense for you to directly audit it individually into the audit. So a lot of times you could go to the import process. So to start out, we're going to go over to the uh, inventory detail section. And we are going to select a specific audit. So I have a server set up here. We're going to right click. We're going to hit audit. And that's going to bring us to our audit page. Uh, in this page, we're going to go to actions and we're going to select import assets from file. Now, before I do that, uh, I'm just going to show you the spreadsheet we have set up. So we have the model, the serial condition, uh, all the various, you know, typical uh, columns of data points that you guys would typically use. So we're going to start with this. And we're going to do the import. So we'll start out by going to actions, import assets from file. Now you can either drag and drop the file here. You could download an example uh, Excel file. Uh, or if you have it ready, just hit upload. And we're gonna select the uh, demo import file that we set up. So what you'll see here is we have all the columns on the left of that spreadsheet. So UID, manufacturer, model, and you can see they're gonna match. So you'll have model, you have manufacturer, uh, pulls in all those details uh, one by one. So it doesn't matter how you have the spreadsheet organized, but what you do need to do is set up a mapping. So we could go model, manufacturer, uh, unique ID, serial, weight, condition, location. Uh, we have grade. So if some of those values aren't here, you'll go to the capability side and you can just do a search. So we're looking for a CPU speed. We'll type in CPU speed. We want to do type form factor. Now, one of the nice things you could do, and let's say this is a format you're using all the time. Um, what I would do is I would hit save as, and for the template name, we're gonna call this, you know, default uh, server import and hit save. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna save that mapping sequence. So if we accidentally, you know, clicked out of here and we had to go back to actions, import assets from file, um, we'll be able to click that file again and then all we have to do is select the default server option now next step you're gonna hit next um, this will show you know if you have to put in a specific location if you have to send it to a specific workflow let's say we want to put it in inspection so we're gonna hit import now and this is gonna import all the files or all the assets uh, of that file you can see the progress bar and it's moving through to 94 items so we're gonna pause the video for a minute and uh, wait for this to complete and then check back with the results so we could tell the uh, file has been completed um, it gives you some feedback up at top um, you can see all the assets are here now. So if we click into it, you can see the assets are imported in appropriately. Now, one of the things to note is if there's new items in that file, you'll have to set up the proper category structure and make it exactly how it is in your system for it to import in properly. So what that means is, you know, if I have, um, I don't know, a new item, let's say this is a G11. 
And for the category, you'd want to add a category uh, section here. And then you would set up your sequence like this. And then this would create the item in Razor and essentially categorize it appropriately. So that's one of the uh, nuances that you need to be aware of.